market.net. Um, tonight we are doing a fall project. We are finishing off the fall entryway. I, I keep saying por porch, but we don't have a porch. We have an entryway. Um, DIY project. So as you're hopping on, say hi. Bill is watching comments. Give me some hearts if you guys can see me because I was having some technical difficulty before. <laughs> um, but we should be all set. So I'm excited about tonight's project because this is the awaited welcome mat. And um, this is something that I wanted to do, but we've had some challenges. So we are doing it a little different today. But as I'm doing it, I'm going to be giving you some tips and tricks on how you can make your own. Um, so I hope you guys are going to enjoy it. I hope you guys are going to spread the honey. Um, and stay tuned for that because if you're new to the page, welcome. Comment newbie and Birdie Bot would love to welcome you in. Uh, we do have uh, the big honey pot giveaway. And what that is, and we are going to continue it for October, is once we get to 50 viewers, um, you want to become Bill's best friend <laughs> and comment away because once we get to 50 viewers, Bill goes on there and picks three random names to put in the honeypot. And then we do a drawing. Now, for October, we will be doing two drawings. Uh, we will be doing one in the middle of the month and one at the end of the month. Tonight's winner is everybody that joined in on our September one. So again, as you're hopping on, say hi. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy this project. So, and I hope you have enjoyed all of the fall project, projects that we've done. Um, excuse me, I have to get some coffee. Bill and Sweetie got me Wawa, guys. Who loves Wawa? Thumbs up. <laughs> he went today to go get me some, so I was super excited. Um, Okay, so what I was going to say, I know I had asked you guys whether or not we wanted to get on to Christmas or if you guys were good with more fall. And personally, I think what we should do, because as in the crafter world, in the blogger world, we're, you know, the Christmas is huge um, and there's so many DIYs. But what I've decided for Be Inspired Market and for all of you guys is I want to extend a little more fall. I think, I don't want to skip over Thanksgiving, so I have some fun projects um, planned for next week to do some place settings. Thanksgiving, I love Thanksgiving. It's a time where you get together. It's the first time you get together maybe with your family after months. And there's no pressure of Christmas gifts or shopping or anything. It's just sitting around the table and being thankful for the family and friends that you have. So I love Thanksgiving, and I really don't want to skip over that. So I hope you guys are with me on that. So we're going to do a little more fall, some Thanksgiving. I have place settings in mind that I want to share with you guys, just how to set your table um, and kind of impress your family when they come over. And then come mid-October, we'll move on to Christmas. So if you guys are good with that, give me a thumbs up. Um, make sure you guys are following. All right, so Bill is still working on comments. Anybody going to say hi to uh, you got a lot of highs. You got Laura Barlow said spread the honey. Lynn said hi from Georgia. Oh. Betty said Betty said hi from North Carolina. Sandy said Thanksgiving is my favorite holiday. Awesome. Um, yeah, Lee says hi. Hey, uh, everybody. I'm so there. happy you guys hopped on. So, um, and yes, so I kind of gave you the rundown. And then once Bill gets on here, does what he needs to do, I'm going to show you what we need for the project. And then we're going to do our big honey pot winner for... Uh, September. So, okay, so let me show you. What we're going to be working with is um, a mat, um, and I will tell you guys everywhere where I get it. If you comment supplies, um, you will get a message, and I did link everything to Amazon. I didn't get it all at Amazon, but I kind of give you more of a supply list than anything so that you could do this project yourself. So the mat that we're working on, so let me get here so you guys can see the project and less of me. So let me do that. And more of me. <laughs> we need to get Bill on camera, right? Okay, so we're going to do Hey There Pumpkin because it seems like fall is pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin. And I've seen these on Etsy, Etsy, one of those, <laughs> um, and they're pricey and for good reason. Um, I credit every homemade maker out there um, that has their business online, so I'm, I strongly support people that have their own businesses. It is time-consuming. Um, 
And this is something, if you just wanted to try this for yourself to see how easy it is for you. Um, but again, you could purchase them off of Etsy. Etsy, I always say it wrong. <laughs> um, but we're gonna be working on this mat. So this mat is one of those really like rough mats, which are really good because when it comes fall and everything, it's good to you know have people wipe their feet before they come in. Um, and I did a project like this a couple, I wanna say about a year and a half ago. I actually posted the project. And it was, um, if you're Amazon, if you're delivering Starbucks, or if you're Joanna Gaines, we're home. And I do want to uh, share that SVG with you guys. It was just that version was corrupted for some reason, so I will get that out. But anyway, back to our project. So this is a mat. It's from Target. It's $9.99. So if you go to your Target in the mat section, you will see one, and it's this is blank, okay? Then... What we're doing, the Hey There Pumpkin SVG is available. Now, if you comment SVG or supplies, they'll give you the list. I do have the SVG in our store. I am new to sharing SVGs. So what I'm asking from you guys is if you would, if you have a cutting machine, go ahead and download it. It is free. You do have to go through the cart and through my store but it is free, and I'm doing that because I would love for you to give me some feedback. Download it, let me know if it worked, let me know if there were any problems with it or anything like that. Again, it is available, this is my own fonts and everything. Um, so again, if you do want it, Bernie Bot will send you the link. It is absolutely free, I just want some testers to let me know that the SVGs were working because I eventually do wanna add some more to the store. Okay, so that's just a disclaimer on that one. So it's Hey There Pumpkin, okay, and then you're going to need freezer paper, okay. This is a big roll. I don't recommend this big of a roll only because it's wider than your cutting mats. Um, and this is, I have a Cricut Maker, okay. If you don't have a Cricut Maker and you're watching this going, why am I watching this? You can do the same idea, you can just buy a Mylar stencil. You can get those at Michael's, you can get them. Actually, Michael's didn't have a, a, a big choice because I was going to do one with that too. Um, you can check Amazon, Amazon had some. Uh, but you could do this with a Mylar stencil as well. You would just obviously tape it down and do all of that. So um, it's kind of the same idea. Um, it's more of just the technique than anything. Okay, so freezer paper is what we're using. Some people use vinyl. Last time I used um, a stencil, so it's, you're pretty much taking your freezer paper. Freezer paper has a shiny side and a dull side. You're putting the shiny side down. You're cutting out your design, and then we're going to adhere it to the mat. You good, honey? Mm -hmm. You're all good, good. Okay, then what we're gonna use. So, originally, the plan, <laughs> and I'm sorry, I don't see comments, so I'm not ignoring you. Bill is hopping on, he will help me with those. Um, mine doesn't show it for some reason, Nothing's so. All good so far. All good, okay, Everybody's good. Everybody's just watching. Okay, um, Flex Seal. Flex Seal can be used, so again, this is something that you can get off of Amazon. I did also see it at Target on clearance. Flex Seal is a spray paint, and it's like a rubber paint that you can do outside. It was very windy outside today, so that's why we chose just to do this inside, okay? We're not spraying inside. I'll get to that. Laura Barlow said, SVG, I'll test it for you. Oh, thank you, Laura. Yes. Uh, Laura Coran said, what does SBG mean? It's V, not B. Yes, it's V. Pay attention. So it's, Pay attention. It means something. <laughs> I'm kidding, Laura. I'm totally kidding. Go um, Cardinals. Um, and then somebody asked, what if you don't have a machine, which I think you already answered. Yes, if you don't have a machine, you could definitely do it with a Mylar stencil. Um, just tape it down, or you can get like an adhesive um, to put on the back of your stencil and then put it down. So, um, but a light adhesive, nothing that's obviously going to glue it down. Um, but you can use it for that as well. Um, because also what we're going to be doing, so we're not doing the Flex Seal. Um, we're going to be using outdoor acrylic paint. I don't know if you guys knew that this even existed, but it does. And this is actually what I used when I did the Amazon Joanna Gaines mat. Okay, so this is weather resistant, 
all right? And this is what we're gonna use. So it's really just acrylic paint, but it's for the outside. Again, all your craft supply stores carry this. I did find it on Amazon as well. And if I'm sorry I keep saying Amazon, the only reason I do is I get a lot of questions on supplies that I use in my project, and I just wanna give that out to you, so, okay. The other thing that we're not gonna do tonight, but when the project is done, is you need to seal your project. When I did the Joanna Gaines one, I used the outdoor paint. I didn't seal it, and it lasted. It lasted. It lasted for a good, I would say, probably a good year um, before it started to fade and kind of look, you know, raunchy. <laughs> um, so, raunchy. <laughs> raunchy. <laughs> Is that a word? Yeah, that's a word. Um, yeah, not. Okay. <laughs> Raunchy. Um, so, uh, again, I would recommend spraying your um, project. Okay, so we have that. And then I have a really good stencil brush. Don't get the cheapy kind because this will take a little bit. So we're going to do this. I'm going to get this on here. I'm going to show you guys. And then we're going to do the honey pop giveaway. Okay, so this is just a good brush. I don't even remember where I got it from. It just says plaid premium stencil brush. So I'm assuming like Michael's or something. Because it does take a lot of stippling to get this on here, okay? And then, am I talking too fast? I feel like I'm talking a mile a minute. <laughs> I'm here um, listening to you. How you would I are know? listening? Okay, so the other thing. So now how you get the, um, the freezer paper, like I said, there's one dull side and then there's a shiny side. So you use an iron to get this on. I'm using my heat press, but you can use an iron. The only thing, no water, don't put any water in your iron, and you're pressing it, and I'm gonna show you that. You're not moving it, you're not doing anything. You wanna make sure that your little pieces are attached. If for whatever reason they move, we're just gonna use some stick pins to get those in there, okay? So I had my easy Adeline press. Adeline said, you guys are so funny. Oh, uh, hi Adeline, how are you? Thanks guys. And we are also doing um, the random winner, we're gonna do that later. So we actually have two giveaways today. We have our honeypot giveaway, and we have the, um, the happy mail giveaway for all your beautiful, wonderful, comments um, on the post about the inspired market so so appreciate all that input i do need that for um something in the future um, so i definitely just wanted that from all of you and you were also gracious enough to comment so we are going to be doing some happy mail on that okay two so, happy meals tonight two happy meals the honeypot giveaway one is good though that's a good one okay so i just have my easy press set to 330 and I have my position. So all I'm gonna do is push this down for a while. And then hold it there for a good couple seconds just to get it to adhere. So what you're doing is you're basically reheating the back of the freezer paper and then getting it to stick. It doesn't stick though to where it's so hard to pull off. Right. It sticks just enough for you to do the project. Yes, so like you guys can see. So it's, and it's really just getting it down enough and pushing. Those little pieces sometimes can be tricky. So again, just be careful with that. Like I said, you're just holding it down. You're not moving around. Or the push pin. Or the push pin. Which the push pins, I got push pins and I didn't realize that they were kind of tall. I'm gonna do one more on this side. So you can feel that it went down. Another tip though, when you do your freezer paper, don't move your mat. So if this is what you're gonna do with the flex seal, my suggestion is do the ironing and the spraying outside. If you do the ironing inside, <laughs> we had, oh, I can't even tell you. Um, if you do the ironing inside and you move your mat, your freezer paper is just going to It's going to move. Up. It's going to move. It's, it's going to crinkle, crinkle up. It's going to move. And then it's not going to work right. You're it's gonna, not. You're going to be fighting the spray seal where it's going to want to try to go underneath the letters. Yes. Okay. Laura just said, Bill, you should get Carol the new. Oh, 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 oh. What happened? My computer just went out. 
It went off? Yeah. Car uh, Laura just said, Bill, you should get Carol the new Easy Press Mini. She needs it to add to her family of Easy Press. <laughs> um, I'm assuming low battery. That's weird. But yes, it's on the side of the um, office. Um, okay, so I just took the acrylic paint. You're just doing, taking some paint, less is more. Okay, so this is all adhered on here. And then you're going up and down. So this is where I said it takes patience and a lot of, um, of a strong stencil. And what I should have done, and I didn't, um, is put more of a border at the edge. So I would recommend doing that. So all you're pouncing up and down, what you're going to get is a very thin layer. And then that's why I said that the Flex Seal works better because it gives you that full coverage. Lee said, when is Bill going to do a craft? <laughs> Laura said, it'll move and you'll cry. That's yes. That's true. Oh, she will. Yes. She'll just basically shut the I video I can see off. I got a little, no, got a little on the edge there, but it's okay. Nancy said, what a great tip. Freezer paper, that's such a great tip. Thanks for sharing. Oh, you're welcome. Yes, freezer paper, you could do the vinyl. The freezer paper is better because you can heat it down and let it stick. But like I said, the Flex Seal gives you that full coverage. You guys can see, and we're going to take this one off because I want you guys to see. And then and after I do this. it might need a couple passes. It I mean, does need a couple passes. So you Especially gotta, because the mat is so, um, I guess it has all those fibers. Yes. You really want it to soak into those fibers. So that first coat is just, I don't know, like it's here, right? And then the second coat is the one that's actually going to give you the coverage. Yes. And that's why I said, use a really good stencil brush. Don't use like a cheapy one, only because one, you're just going to damage it. And two, you need to get that pressure on it. But it's a fun project to do. Like I said, you know, you can get, definitely purchase them. But this is something that you can customize. You know, you could put your, you know, if you do have a cutting machine, you can do something with your personal name. Um, or there's, you know, people that sell their stencils and customize those for you. So you can always, you know, make something. If you wanted to try a DIY, this is one of them. So this one is actually going to finish our entryway, our porch. Now be real careful with the little pieces. This one's actually sticking. Um, but somebody asked about Bill doing a craft. And what I'm trying to get Bill to do is, as we're doing our fall and stuff, it's just not enough days in the week, I tell you. Because um, we try to stick to the two lives, but I don't know. We might have to add another one. I want Bill to do tailgating ideas. He has a lot of them. So, and he loves football. So I'm hoping maybe we'll... We'll get him to do that. So thumbs up or hearts if you guys want to see that. He's Karen not Har camera shy, but Karen he's camera Harlow's, shy when he do. Karen Harlow said, have you ever used exterior paint? I have not. I have not, but that is a very good idea. That is a very good idea. I don't know why it, I mean, that would work. I would think it would work. I think I had this paint for my other project when I did the other mat, so that's why I just stuck with it. But that's a, that's a really good idea. I don't see why it wouldn't work. Okay. Keep spreading the honey. We're at 72. Oh, yeah. yay. You got to put three names in. I already got three picked. Oh. We got to pick this before we do that. Okay, but tell, tell people who, oh, that's right. No, why oh. would you confuse people? Okay, hey, we're not going to confuse ladies, people. Ladies, I know what's going on. Okay. She so. thinks she's running the show behind the scenes. 
I run the show <laughs> behind the scenes. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna let this dry a little. Oh, look at that, guys. I swear I get myself oh, dirty. Mess. Okay, did let me. Did you post when you did the dog jail? Did you do that? Um, um I posted a picture. Pictures? Not oh yeah. Finished. She was messy. Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah. she was so messy. See, look at that. I can't do it. Okay, let me get the honey pot up here so you guys can see. Let me do this. Okay. We're going to let this dry for a little bit. So the Honey Pot winner, we're going to pick that person. This bo person is going to get a box full of goodies from me. Um, there's a homemade item in there, and there's a whole bunch of craft stuff to do. I'm going to get you covered for Halloween. I'm going to get you covered for some fall. And I'm going to get you covered for some Christmas. So these are the win these are the people. So this is the big honey pot. Isn't it cute? <laughs> it's a cookie jar. Um, okay, so we're going to go ahead and pick. Are you coming on camera? Oh, Bill's going to come on camera. He's going to do it. Okay. I'm All just right, standing here with you. <laughs> this is an exciting time. Okay, honey. So I'm just going to stand. I'm not picking the winner. Yeah. You want me to pick the winner? Yes, what pick the winner. What if my hand gets stuck in here? Am I just picking one? Yes. They're, what if they get stuck together? Pick one. I'm mixing them around. Hold on. It's the uh, guys. So this is the honey pot winner okay. for honey September. Pot winner for September. Okay. Let me get the honey pot here. Thank you, honey. Let me see. Take a peek. <gasps> what? Uh, Ruth Drake. Ruth Drake is our winner. So Ruth, go ahead and message the page. Ruth got in our honey pot for having the, <laughs> the cutest comment about our project that we did. You remember that. That's I right. do. She said it was a good project aside from the casualties because I had burned my finger and it was just you know, one of those lives. So Ruth Drake, you are the winner. But don't um, leave. Keep, don't leave guys because we have. Keep sharing because we're going to, we got three more I'm putting in. Yes. Yes. You got three more I'm putting in. So Ruth message the page and then we'll do happy mail later. So, so okay. say it again. Awesome. Ruth Drake needs to, um, Message the page. Message the page. Can yes. I dump these out? Yes. Yes. Could, like dump them out, dump them out? Yeah, dump them out. Like dump, dump them, them out, dump them out? Like just reach in and yeah. so we can add the new three? Yes. I'm so kind Bill's of excited gonna, so for the new three. So this is October's honey pot, and we're going to do two drawings. We're going to do one at the middle of the month and one at the end of the month. Okay, I'm just doing the second coat, and then I'm going to pull this up. I just don't want it to be too light. So if you guys have questions, ask away. If we happen to miss your questions, I do go back and answer them, but Bill's usually pretty Actually, good. Actually, I'm going to mark, I'll mark hers so she, we know. Okay. September. September, yep. Okay. But super easy. Take your time when you do this. You'll see, like, where it might be missing some, and you'll just go back. And the mat that I did before took about three coats. Okay, so who are you putting in? Christine Lester. Christine Lester's going in the honey pot. Is going in. And these were picked at 50. At 50. So yep. we keep teetering from like 70 up to about 89. So 89 is really not that far away. So Christine Lester was the first one. Mm -hmm. Patricia Hartsock is the nice. second one. Congrats. Patricia, you're going in. And the last one, these were the three from at 50. Kathy Carver. Yay, awesome. Perfect. So the honey pot is every time we get to 50, Bill picks three random names. Okay? And again, if you're just hopping on, if you wanted a list of the supplies, just comment supplies. And if everything is working properly, Bernie Bot will send you a list. Okay. So I want to see. Aggie Door is on. Hey, Aggie. Okay, let's see if this is. All right. I want one more coat. I'm going to kind of like play just to, to do this. So this one says, hey, pumpkin. You can definitely do some others. Um, this mat was from Target, and it was only $9.99. Okay, that's good coverage. Okay, so like I said, see how this all comes off? I'm going to get my hands super dirty. Yay, look at that. Look how good that looks. Let me get the little one out. Hey, hold on. Hold on. What's wrong? Just helping you out here. Oh. <laughs> Just helping you out. I know how this is going to go down. Hold on. Is it sticky? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm good. Okay. I'm good. He gets so nervous. Is that thing Why would he be, get nervous? Is that thing supposed to be smoking? 
No, <laughs> you're so funny. How does that look, guys? See, I said I would put tape on the edges. I got a little there, but I'm okay with it. It's homemade. Okay, let me wash my hands a little. So if you guys liked it, thumbs up. Super easy. And then, like I said, you go in ahead and you protect it after you're done. Or um, ours is under like an area, so it's not too bad. But my other one that I did lasted. Okay, Why let me get. Why are your hands so dirty? <laughs> what did I have when I was doing the? I hate calling it a dog cage. It's not a dog. It's a cage. dog jail. It's a it's a dog cage. It's a dog jail. But it's like a buffet. Go to Instagram. You'll see it. It's a dog jail. I don't know if it's still there. I don't know if the story is still there. Because the stories. If you don't follow us on Instagram, please go over there and follow us. We try to do some of the behind the scenes there. Um, it's Be Inspired Market, so follow us there. Um, sometimes we do some DIYs that we don't do here. Got to get a little better at it. Um, again, there's always never enough time in the day. So, okay, so we're going to do the pumpkin, and then we're going to pick the happy mail person. Okay, so I'm going to see if this reaches over, because I have a feeling it's not going to. Okay, so again, you're just pressing this down and holding it in place. A couple said, seconds. Karen Harlow said the bot worked. Oh, I got, yay. I got a list of supplies. Awesome. And like I said, I do it on Amazon. You guys all know I love Amazon. But again, and if you use our link, we do uh, make a small commission off of that, and that just helps. It helps fund the projects, really, to be honest. I yeah. Mean, but otherwise, you could just use with it for other. more projects and crafts and things like that. Yeah. The commission that you get off of Amazon with where we're at is – it's not pennies. I mean, it pays maybe for <laughs> but the it tax. Helps. It maybe pays for the tax, but it helps. It helps. Or go over to your craft store. Just take the list store. with you. Yep. Take the list with you and it's in there. But the mat was from Target. Freezer yeah, so paper. The mat was get. at Target. How much was that? Nine ninety nine. Nine ninety nine. The freezer paper we had. We had. You get that at your local we store. We had that, but grocery still, store. Some people might have freezer paper. Yeah. You can use an iron. You don't have to use the heat press. No. And then how much is the paint? Um, the paint is Three, a couple bucks. A couple bucks. Yeah, not even. Probably I mean, like two bucks. A mat like that, if you bought that at Kirkland's or Yeah, they Hobby run Lobby, usually. I don't know, 25 to 30 bucks? Pretty much. I I mean, yeah, 25 to 30 is what we saw. And then that's kind of what everybody is selling them on um, Etsy. Am I saying it right? <laughs> <laughs> and we had everybody go crazy when she did the Amazon one a while yes. back. It was and if, I'll create if you're Starbucks, that Amazon, or I don't know. Uh, Joanna was. Gaines. Yeah, we're home. We're home. So, and I'm actually making one for my daughter. So my daughter moved in, um, and she actually lives. It's a, with college boys, and uh, hers is going to be if you have pizza or beer, we're home. So. <laughs> She's like, I can't have anything girly. So I'm making that one. And that one I'm actually going to try to do with the Flex Seal. So if I do that, we probably won't do that as a live. We'll do that as a recorded video. So again, um, something that's going to show up on Instagram. So head on over there. Okay. So can this you is. Move, can you move your picture up to the right hand corner? Oh, I can. Oh, because I am blocking it. Yeah. Okay. So Nobody me... said anything. I did. But don't let that heat up too much. I don't no, want you're fine. <laughs> you I don't want you burning. So again, you're just sticking this through here. Okay. That's good. And the little pin, like the little ones I told you, if anything, you can um, use push pins to hold it in place if that was giving you a problem. Get this in here so this turns off. You guys can see the pumpkin. Coffee. Okay. Okay. All good. So real simple. Do you and again, do you guys have any questions? Is anybody gonna try this? Has anybody tried it maybe before? Um Paula, I just Paula, like it. Paula just said uh, I'm making one of these for my daughter. She wants which please. Oh for nice. Halloween. Very Jenny, fun. Jenny Fitzgerald said she moved in with boys. <laughs> College boys. That's yes. even worse, Carol. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. It worked out for the best. It did. And then Desiree He's said, does the They're freezer. Like big brothers. Does the freezer paper stick when you iron it on? Yes. So right, keep it, going. it doesn't stick too much. You can tell them, yeah. Yes, it does stick, but it doesn't stick like a transfer would stick. It makes it easier to peel it off, plus you don't have the cost of um, what the vinyl or whatever yes. it is. Uh, is that what the, it's more is cost it's efficient. Called? It's more efficient. cost efficient, the freezer paper yes. is. But as you can see, it sticks down. It's not sliding around. She's got it all on there, yep. and she even got the... the um, uh, what is that, a K? The K, K, yep. Yeah, the little inside dot from the K. It works really well. Yeah, and like I said, the only the only tips I can offer is, you know, don't move. Like, when you put it down, keep it in place because it will just eventually just... Yeah, move. If, if you put your hands underneath the mat to try to reshift it, it's going to come It's gonna come up. And to be honest, I don't know how you would fix it. Yeah. If you already had paint on it, I have a feeling you're. It's just gonna shift. You're probably gonna shift, and then you're gonna have where it's gonna look like it's faded, like off to the side. So. Yes. And like I said, you can see kind of again where some of it is a little lighter, but it's fine. Um, Laura I said, would definitely uh, recommend three coats. Laura said, "I want to do one of these for Christmas. It's the most wonderful time of the year." Oh, nice. Yeah. And they do make good great Christmas gifts. If you're going to do Christmas gifts um, and do a few of them, I would definitely recommend the Flex Seal outside only because it goes quicker um, and it gives you better coverage. And then remember when you do the Flex Seal, like if how Carol has that one set up, you're going to have to mask off the rest of the mat. Yes. Don't forget. Good you point. have to mask off yep. the rest of the mat because it point. is going to spray. Mm -hmm. It's very similar to like a spray paint. It comes out more, nar uh, more narrow than a spray can does. But at the same time, you don't want to get it on the rest of the mat. So Yes, good point, honey. It's true. And then Lynn Hart Turner just said, I've got four that I've ordered and haven't done them yet. Oh. Oh, <laughs> you're making four? Is that what she's doing? I think so. That's what, yeah. And then Laura said, or a drunk, she's thinking, or a drunk ghost that says, I'm here for the booze. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> They have some cute sayings out there. They really do. I think what's cool about it is you can come up with whatever saying you, you want. want. Yeah. That's what's nice about it. You don't have to shop around. If you and your family have a funny saying for mm -hmm. Christmas or Thanksgiving, what not a what not a funny way to to greet everybody when they first come up to the door? Mm -hmm. I mean, everybody's gonna see that and put a smile on their face and start the uh, the family frenzy off in a happy mood instead mm -hmm. of everybody getting sick of each other within <laughs> an hour. It's a happy time. And like I said, so if you're new to our page, please hit the video. Um, Facebook did some changes. Before you should you hit the video and a little bell came up, it doesn't work that way. Hit the video, but hit Be Inspired Market. Our name is on the top. And then it'll come on the bottom, follow, and then hit the button for lives. And then it'll notify you when we're live. And if you're new, comment newbie. We definitely love giving you a shout out. Oh, Laura, and a welcome. Laura Barlow just said the Cricut paper doesn't stick as good as the freezer paper. No, the Cricut I, paper moves a lot. Oh, does it? Yeah, I, I, the last time, like I said, I used stencil, um, and that did move a lot. But I like the freezer paper method. I really do. I, it, it actually is not shifting. And again, if you're using, you know, certain words always you know these little middle pieces those can be a little tricky and if you watch how she's doing it she's going straight up, up and, and down, down. don't yep. go to the side at all because you'll you'll take those bristles and they'll just sneak underneath the freezer paper yep. and I should be really pounding harder but this brush is good um, again this is a plaid premium stencil brush and I want to say you can get it at like Michael's because you're definitely getting more coverage Okay, I'm almost done, and while that's drying, we're going to do our happy mail. Should we do our happy mail now, or wait till I get my, can we put more names in the pot? Did we spread the honey enough? Uh, we keep fluctuating. Not yet, we're we fluctuating. Keep fluctuating from okay. about 60 to 70, and that's then back okay. and forth, so. That's okay. We have plenty. This just started for the month of October, so we have plenty of time to put more names in there. And I don't remember because I really haven't been paying attention. Does this for finish up the front porch or no? Yes, it finishes up the front porch. So we will give you a tour on Instagram um, of our front porch. And then I'll post a picture here, of course, 
of everything that we did. We did a lot of DIYs out there and I finished it off. And then we're going to, like I said, we're gonna still stay in the fall mode. We got some Thanksgiving um, tablescape I wanted to share with you guys. And then I'm hoping that Bill does a tailgate one. So what? Give a thumbs up or say Bill or something so he knows. He doesn't, he doesn't mind being on camera. It's just the DIYs that kind of get him. I don't like being on the camera. You're so... <laughs> yes, he does. We got a couple newbies. Oh, welcome. Chris is a newbie. Welcome. Uh, Desiree is a newbie. Welcome. Desiree's already thrown out a couple comments, and then her this one was newbie. De what's Desiree's last name? Lewis. Oh, because I know another Desiree that I used to work with, so I thought it was her, because that's a very pretty name and not very common. Okay. All right, I think we're good. Pam said, good evening, y'all. Hello. I threw the y'all part in. She just said all. <laughs> she must be from All right, North. so we're going to take this off so you guys can see. Why are there so many thumbs ups? <gasps> Probably for you to do your DIY. See how easy it comes off? It doesn't stick, and then, of course, it does that. <laughs> Going well, in the garbage, honey. Don't those worry. Out. I know. <laughs> well, because you don't. You have love your... to manage. When I was doing the the dog cage, he wanted to help me so bad, and he was just sitting there, and he was helping, but he's managing. Look at that. I asked her if she needed help, and you know what her <laughs> answer was? No, you can just go ahead and sit there and watch. And I said, <laughs> okay. So I was watching the Bears game. <laughs> Sue said, Bill, Bill's the man. Donna <laughs> said, Bill. Paul said, Bill, tailgate with a heart. Yes. Sherry said, Bill, you can do it. <laughs> you can do and it. And Bill loves to cook, so it might just be a combo of uh, something fun with that, what? too. You do. So how does that look? I think it came out super, super cute. Hey, hey there, there, pumpkin, because everything is fall pumpkin. So, so I would let this dry overnight. Um, if you wanted more coverage, you can definitely take like a, you know, an artist brush or something like that and then go in there and paint delicately. Obviously, the bristles are in there. And then when it's all said and done, go ahead and put a sealer on it. This is a UV resistant. Our mat isn't outside. It's covered in our entryway, so hey, it's hey, not hey, going to see she's anything. she's not done. Hold on. Time no. Out. She's not done yet. Oh we God. still have to pick the... Yes. The Happy, Happy Mail Bill. for all the comments. Yes. So hang tight. Hang tight. Oh, but your camera's not on. <laughs> no, because it went off. It went off. Okay, let me go do that real quick so we can pick up our Happy Mail. Hold on. I'll, I'll get in there and finish off the... Finish off the what? <laughs> I don't know. Don't get nervous. <laughs> and we're back. So... <laughs> Um, what do we need to talk about here? I'm not 100% sure, but is there a way you can protect this? Somebody had asked that too before. With the UV protector. With the UV protector? Is yeah. that what this is? Yeah. Yeah, so did you show it? The UV protector yes. pylon? Yeah. And then that was the flex seal. I'm just trying to keep busy. That was the flex seal, which somebody said you can get that at Walmart too. Yes, you can yeah. get that at Walmart. Okay, you might have to just bring the laptop here. Okay, so we're going to pick our winner for the happy mail so the happy mail was a post it's not going to show up on there no the happy mail was a post that you guys um said some beautiful things about our page so appreciate that you guys don't understand how much that means to us um just to come on here and do these diys with you um and share uh and get some blog posts up i definitely have to work on that um that that takes a lot of time but it's so worth it to be able to share it with you guys okay so Everybody that's on this wheel um, left a comment, and that person's going to receive happy mail. So we're going to go ahead and spin the wheel. And thank you again. Okay. I'm and, so excited. <laughs> and the winner is Marla Kasky. Marla Kasky. Does that see it? It's probably a big glare. No. Okay. So, Marla, you are a happy mail winner for your beautiful comment um, on our post. So, I'm going to go ahead, uh, wait for your message, and then I will send you out some happy mail. So, all right. I think if you guys see, the mat looks perfect. This is the size of it. How cute is that? I love it. 
Love it. If you guys love it, give it some hearts. Hopefully you guys spread the honey. Um, and uh, again, follow our page. Follow us on Instagram. Look for us to be here on Thursday, 8 p.m. Eastern. Helen said, I love your crafts. Oh, thank you. Sue said, congratulations to... To Marla. Marla. Lots of congratulations. Oh, you guys are so sweet. That's what I love. Everybody is so sweet. Lisa um, had a good idea. I agree with you, Lisa. What? Lisa said... You should stencil a pumpkin in the lower corner. Oh, yes. yes. I agree, Lisa. Lisa's saying like. I was going to say that, but. Like in I, this corner. Yes. In right that, there. In that That's corner. a cute idea. She that is a very a cute pumpkin. idea. That would be cool. Very cute idea. Let me see if there's anything else here. No, no other comments. No, we're all good. We're all good. All right, so we wrapped up this series. I appreciate you guys being on. We'll be here on Thursday. And if you ever need anything, feel free to reach out um, and message the page. Stay tuned for the pictures of the front porch. Yes, stay tuned on, for the pictures of the front on porch. Insta, on, on Insta. Insta. <laughs> you know, that's kind of how we call it. I call it Insta. He's I'm not, not even on Instagram. I'm not even on Insta. He doesn't even know what it is. Insta um, and then... Um, Facebook, you'll probably Facebook, post them yes, on Facebook, yes, I will sure. post pictures as well. So, all right, guys, we're going to call it a night. Thank you again. Bye.